Hey everyone, I'm Nina Zeta, and in today's video, I wanna walk you through the different types of ways you can use Instagram for your business. So I'm gonna walk you through the different types of content you can create on this platform and the vision and strategies behind each one. You see, having an engaged community on Instagram is super, super, super important. And Instagram allows you a variety of different ways to reach new audiences. And that's what this video is gonna do. It's gonna walk you through the different ways and then the types of content you should create in each way. So let's just jump right in. So the first way that you can use Instagram is the traditional old school way of just posting. And we call this a static post, especially in marketing when I'm working with my clients or when I'm working with influencers and we're doing some sort of exchange. The static post is just the post that goes on your feed. Now, when you're considering what type of content to put on your feed, you have to think about it. Instagram is a visual platform. It is a photo platform. So you're going to want to make sure that whatever goes on your feed because it's a permanent post or a static post, it really reflects your overall brand identity and strategy. So yes, I say you have to have a good looking photo. What is a type of photo or piece of content that's actually gonna make someone stop the scroll? So when you're doing this type of post, excuse me, you can use carousel style posts to have multiple pieces of content to tell a story, or you could just use one photo that you think really reflects the story that you wanna tell. Now, when you're doing your static posts, captions are important. You're gonna to wanna to think, what type of caption do I want? Do I want a long caption that really tells a story and use my caption as like a microblog sort of space? Or do I wanna something quick and to the point? Whatever you choose, it's important that you're just strategic with this choice and that it, it reflects your overall niche and mission statement. So that is super, super important. Now, if you're looking to give your followers and your audience a glimpse into your everyday life, then you're going to want to do stories. Stories are fun on Instagram because they're a little bit less um, stressful than having to post something so permanent. You can just let your followers in, post right on the spot, take, you know, it can be a photo, it can be a video. There, ha It doesn't have to be super pre-planned. But if you do want it pre-planned, there are a bunch of different apps that you can use to have a strong Instagram story strategy. So for example, I know a lot of people use unfold to create templates or they use Canva to create Instagram templates for their stories so that they have something really attractive to post on stories. But again, you don't have to do this. You can literally just post on the fly. But the thing about stories is that you can still edit it, you can still tweak it, and it's not as real as my third tip, which is Instagram Live. This is how you can interact with your fans and your followers in the most authentic way possible. It's straight to the punch, you're going live. And if you consider going live, you know, we just did a video on giving you tips on what you should look for to go live. So I'll link that below so you guys can see. But yeah, you want to come prepared. But at the end of the day, it's the most authentic and raw self because you're literally just live streaming. There's no editing. There's nothing that you can do before like you could do in stories. Now, if you are looking to grow your engagement on Instagram and create those meaningful conversations, I'm going to link below our Insta Authentic. It's our Instagram engagement accelerator. It's going to help you you really build strong connections with your tribe on Instagram and build a loyal, loyal following. So you'll definitely want to check that out. And make sure you hit that little bell and subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date anytime we launch a new video on social media, marketing, and Instagram. Another way that you can create content on Instagram now is Instagram Reels. So when you think of stories, Instagram stories, like I said earlier, this is just a glimpse into your life. Reels, I like to think of Instagram Reels as a little bit more cinematic, a little bit more storytelling. And I did an entire video on Instagram Reels as well as how, um, as well as a tutorial if you're new to Reels. But basically think of Reels as the silly version of yourself. It should be somewhere where you can story tell and really take someone from A, B, C in that chronological sequence. It's a 15 second clip it's different than stories because stories is something that you really just do on the fly, whereas reels, you piece together content 
in that 15 minute slot. Uh, and reels are a great way to showcase your brand's identity, show humanize yourself, um, story tell, show something that you're looking to share with your audience, but in a little bit more of a creative way. So that's a different opportunity for you to create content on Instagram. And lastly, you can do if you are into video and you want to go a little bit deeper and dive deeper with our audience, then there's IGTV. IGTV is basically like the YouTube of Instagram where you can post a long form videos onto your page. And this allows you to showcase maybe something um, a little bit deeper with your audience. It can be a pre-edited video that you go ahead and upload. And that's another way that you can, you know, post content on Instagram. So just from this video, there's so many different ways, right? There's that permanent post, there's stories, there's reels, there's going live, there's IGTV, and each of them have a different mission, a different strategy, right? What you post on reels is different than what you post on stories versus, you know, going live. And that's what makes Instagram so dynamic because there's so many different facets and different ways to share content. If you need a little bit of help figuring out your content strategy, I'm going to leave a link below on ways that you can work with me, either private coaching, group coaching, and as well that Instagram authentic, the engagement accelerator, which you are going to love because it's all about creating meaningful relationships with your audience, which I love. Anyways, hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that little bell to be notified, and I will see you in the next video.